Hello crafters, Gareth and G's Creations and welcome to today's video. Today we're making a springtime or an Easter wreath. I'm using these um, um, gingham ribbons and they're all the same size. They are half an inch or 14 millimeters. So just over an inch, a centimeter and a half. But what I'm going to do with this is these are going to be made into six inch loops. Now I've got my stack of um, pearl head pins and what I'm going to be doing is cutting these um, gingham ribbon into six um, inch lengths which is 15 um, which is 15 centimeters. One thing I'm doing to one end is I'm dovetailing one so I've, I've just put two of the lengths together and I'm dovetailing them just to give it um, a finished edge when it's poking out the loop or the ring, whatever you want to call these kind of design. I just had this kind of idea in it and I know I had these these uh, ribbons in my stash and you know spring is coming, Easter's coming and I thought it would make a pretty wreath. So I've just done a few um, lengths of six inches of each colour and I've dovetailed all the all the um, all the ends. So bring over my wreath form. And now this is a wreath form from good old Hobbycraft. And I'm simply going to make a loop, put one of my pins in, and I'm going to stick it in the wreath. Now I can make these loops bigger, I can make these loops smaller, just to give it a varied um, appearance. Now I I think if I, if my memory serves me right, these um, these ribbon spools that I got were about twenty five yards. I think I don't quite remember because obviously they've been in my stash for just over a year. I got them in this in this sale after Easter last year. So I'm just going to cluster each together, having the tails go off Hello crafters, as you can see it is now finished and I absolutely love the way it turned out I think it looked great. Now just to recap, these um, ribbons are the same both sides and then the very pastel pink, purple, blue and green colour, so great for spring. They, um, th they were half an inch long by 10 yards, not 25 yards as I stated previously, and I used it all. There's nothing left. As you can see here, there's a bald spot. Now, I, I left that bald spot on purpose, so I just um, put some more of the, uh, what was here, I just distributed throughout the wreath, because I have this little Easter bunny hat. Now, this was a headband. It had some black um, string on the inside here, and then there was a headband attached. So I've taken that off, and as I don't want to hot glue anything onto this wreath, because I'd like to, you know, take this wreath apart um, at a later date if necessary because it has these holes on the side here I'm going to use those to my advantage and I'm going to attach the hat by using the pearl head pins that I have been using um, with all the ribbon loops the loopy loops and I'm going to attach it using the, uh, the pearl head pins so I'm just going to put the pearl head pins in those four holes two holes on either side and that goes into the wreath form and then in my store G's Embellishment Emporium I sell these pack of five faux um, carrots they're polystyrene and all I've done is I've I've stuck in some flat head pins and I'm going to distribute those again and I haven't glued them on I've just pushed them into the back of the um, of the carrot and I'm just going to distribute those throughout the wreath 
They come in a pack of five. I think they're a pound, I think, for a pack of five. So I'm probably going to use either five or six here. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to put one just there. And that I am going to call done. I need some that that one's too close. So I think I may put you here. And I really, really like the way it turned out. I love this technique. You could use this technique um, with paper. I think I might do a Christmas one further down the line using um, paper rather than ribbon. I will warn you, it took me about two hours to attach all these ribbon loops on there. I think that was because of the size of the ribbon I used, because it was so narrow. It took so long, but I think if you used wider ribbon, obviously the wider ribbon's going to take up more space, so it wouldn't take as long. But I really love the way it turned out. And if you can see a couple of the uh, the pearl head pins, but because they've got lovely pearl heads, they, it doesn't look out of place. But I'm really happy with the, the way it turned out. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's quite shabby chic, I think. And I don't do shabby chic, and this is very girly. But I think it's um, I think it's lovely. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So please share this if you recreate it. Um, share it over on G's Creations on Facebook. There'll be a link to that below. I would love to see your recreations. And on the back, I have simply just used a chenille stem and some flathead pins, some hot glue, and attached a hook on the back. Um, I shall hang this up on the wall and uh, get some nice photos for the thumbnail. And uh, thank you for joining me. I will see you again very soon with some more spring and Easter craft. Take care now. Bye-bye.